Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is to clarify this uh, problem. One of the comments or the questions in class was about the integration and the result for this problem. And that something that is missing here is the division by 3 for the marginal distribution of x. So that means that here this should be 3 and then finally we should have 3y squared divided by 1 minus x cubed which was the, the original result and it was my mistake because uh, I forgot to add the denominator for the marginal distribution of x. Okay, so in order to finish this lecture, we have another example here which is providing us with the density function and it is asking us to compute the marginal distribution of x, the marginal distribution of y, and the conditional probability of x given y. So we're going to proceed as we proceed for the previous problem. Um, first of all, and also you need to evaluate the probability of x being within one fourth and one half given given y equals one third. Okay, so the first thing we're going to compute is the marginal for x. So g of x, again this is a continuous distribution, so you're going to look at the integration from minus infinity to infinity of f of x, y, with respect to dy. And this is equal to the integration from 0 to 1, x times 1 plus 3y square, uh, square divided by 4 d1. So if you solve this integration, then you will obtain that this is going to be equal to x over 2, and that is your gx. and x is between 0 and 2. Then for the margin of y, you proceed <coughs> using the integration of f, or the joint distribution, with respect to x. So this integration will go from 0 to 2. We write the joint distribution divided by 4 with respect to x. If you solve this integration, this will be equal to 1 plus 3 y squared divided by 2. And this is your marginal for 1. Now the conditional probability that will be equal to f of x given y, and you know this is the joint divided by the function of y, which in this case is the marginal of y. And this equals x times 1 plus 3y squared divided by 4 divided by 1 plus 3y squared divided by 2. So, solution for this is just x over 2. And this is your condition. 
Now, if you want to solve, you go to the next slide. Actually, let me solve it here. I think it will be more clear what I want to get with this example. So part part the evaluation of this integration, so it's the probability of x being between one four and one half, given that y equals one third. So that is the integration from one four to one half of x divided by two dx and that equals three over sixty four. Okay, so from this example, I want you to notice something specifically. And is the result that I'm going to highlight now. So if you go and check the marginal distribution of x and the cognition of probability of x given y, you will notice something. You will notice that both of them are the same. So, if you recall from the definition of independence, if you get a distribution in terms of x, and when you look at the conditional probability, you get the same distribution, that means that the variable x and the variable y have no interaction, meaning that one has no effect on to the other, which also means that they are, they are independent. Okay? So as you can see, conditional, the conditional probability of x given y is giving you the same function as the marginal distribution for x, meaning that y has no effects on x and you can conclude based on that that they they are independent okay so i believe the next slide in this presentation actually discusses that concept so if the conditional probability of x given y does not depend on y as is in the case of the example then the conditional probability of x given y is equal to the marginal distribution of x. And the joint distribution of these of x and y is just the multiplication of the marginal distributions of x and y because they're they are independent. So if y has no impact on the outcome of the random variable x, we say that x and y are independent random variables. So we have the formal definition from the textbook. So let x and y be two random variables, discrete or continuous, with joint probabilities distribution f of x and y, and marginal distribution g of x and h of y. The random variables x and y are said to be statistically independent if and only if the joint distribution equals the multiplication of the marginals for all x and y's within the, the range. So that concludes this lecture, this chapter 3, and in this specific lecture we're looking at the concept of joint probability distribution and we discuss how to compute the marginal distributions based on the joint. That's all. Thank you.